it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms and today I'm going to talk about hearing protection and using equipment. So most of my videos I'm operating a tractor. I've had a few comments mentioning that I should be wearing hearing protection. My immediate reaction is to dismiss that as unnecessary but I want to tell you a little story about my personal experience and hearing protection and I've got a decibel meter out here and I'm going to find out should I be wearing it or not. Um, it is an important question. I appreciate the people who brought it up to me in the comments because maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm overlooking it or underestimating the volumes I'm exposed to. So we're going to find out today. Now I've spent 20 years in a manufacturing environment before I started my own business and we wore hearing protection all day, all the time, and of course it was probably 130 decibels in those shops and it was eight hours continuous because with any noise rating, there's also a time period rating at which it becomes dangerous. So for 85 decibels, it's eight hours. But then each increment your decibels goes up, your time you can withstand that is reduced. So for instance, a rock concert that might be 140 or 150 decibels, you can only withstand that for 15 minutes before damaging your hearing. Um, at 100 decibels, I believe it's two hours before you start causing hearing damage. So there's a big difference between whether this tractor runs at 85 decibels or 100 and how long I'm going to be on it. So if I need to pick up one pallet from down here, take it up to the shop, and that's all I'm doing, then I have a 30 second hearing exposure, two minute hearing exposure. But if I'm going to brush hog this field, it might be two hours, at which point 100 decibels becomes dangerous. So I'm gonna test it with the tractor, I'm gonna test the decibels on a log splitter, a mower, a chainsaw, and on the tractor I'm gonna test it with the cab doors closed and with them open and do a comparison. I'm also going to check it when I'm standing beside it operating the stump grinder because coincidentally the two comments about wearing hearing protection I was standing off of the tractor running the stump grinder from the side. So we'll check it in all those situations and see what we get. Before I start this up I'll tell you my quick experience on understanding that it is important to respect the potential of loud noises to cause hearing loss. When I was 18, I started at the first manufacturing facility and they told me wear earplugs, so I put them in. Then I had a friend who I'd went to school with who said, I've been here a while, you don't have to wear them. So I didn't wear them for three months. They test your hearing when they hire you and then they test it once a year. So I'd been there three months when the yearly test came up. And in those three months of mainly not wearing hearing protection, I had significant hearing loss in one ear that has stayed with me the rest of my life. So I understand the importance of it. My skepticism is this equipment just doesn't seem near as loud. Plus you're outside it, and it's not as sustained. So it doesn't seem like the same type of risk. We'll find out though. So first, I'm going to operate from the side and see how loud it is in the scenario like when I was operating the stump grinder. Ambient noise out here with the birds and the wind is about 40. When I talk it's about 70. It's going to change when I show it to you. But standing right here at a low throttle, I'm at 80 decibels, and so that's in the safe range. It's really about the volume of a person talking. But next I'll get on the tractor, with the doors open, close the doors, check it. Then I'll start the PTO and check it. Then I'll start the PTO and get off the tractor and check it, and I'll give you all those numbers.
All right, so in the cab, out of the cab, doors open, doors close. You're between like 78 and 84 decibels, somewhere in that range. That means that it's only loud enough to be dangerous if you're doing it for eight hours. Otherwise, just operating the tractor at idle is not an issue. Now when I rev it up to full throttle, um, I'm getting about 93, 95 kind of range. And that's similar with the doors open and closed. Um, it's a little bit lower when I got off the tractor, but engaging and disengaging the PTO didn't make much difference. But basically from that test, if you're running at a low throttle, it would take eight hours to be dangerous, if at all. If you're running at a high throttle, it would become dangerous at around two hours. I think it might be smart just running at a high throttle for any time of period at all, more than a couple minutes. It might make sense to go ahead and put these on. Um, I found something interesting out that these are 30 dB reduction. So that would make me think that if this is 100 and I put these on, I'm only getting 70. But a video I just watched, which seemed pretty um, reliable, said that you actually reduce that number by subtracting 7 and cut it in half. Meaning that you're only get, getting 11.5 decibel reduction. So when this is running full throttle, that 95 is 84. Which still puts you in that safe range, but anything louder than that, it wouldn't be enough. Now let's test it on the mower, chainsaw, and log splitter. Alright, so these numbers will vary based on the size and model of tractor you have, the size and model of lawnmower you have. But it's more dangerous for me to ride my lawnmower than it is for me to operate the stump grinder in terms of hearing protection. The other, the other comment I got was about eye protection, and when I run the stump grinder, I've got a door in front of me, so I really don't need eye protection on the stump grinder. But when I'm running that mower, I should really be wearing hearing protection if I'm mowing for more than 30 minutes, probably. Because I got decibel ratings at idle, which you never run your mower at idle, of 80, which is completely not dangerous. Um, Mid-90s with the throttle up where you mow, and 104 with um, the blades engaged. So the mower is more dangerous to your hearing than the tractor. All right, so the chainsaw is the loudest thing out here. It's 95 at an idle and 110 at full throttle, and it's the only thing that I was already wearing hearing protection for. I was gonna check the log splitter too, but for some reason it didn't wanna start, and it's never done that. It usually starts on the first pull, but I'd say it's gonna be in that same range, probably actually quieter than the rest of this stuff. So I'd like to say thank you to the people who commented about hearing protection because it led me to become a more informed equipment operator, and that's always a good thing. From the test I just did, and the research I did before doing these tests, I would say anytime you're running a lawnmower, you should wear hearing protection. Anytime you're running a chainsaw, you should wear hearing protection. If you're running a tractor, it depends. Are you at full throttle, and how long are you running it? At full throttle, I would just wear it to be safe, but really, the rating would be at about an hour to two hours of running a full throttle tractor. If you're running it at a low throttle or using the auto throttle, you probably don't need it 
then again, it doesn't really hurt anything to wear it. My concern is on the tractor, I want to know exactly what's happening with the tractor. And if you're wearing hearing protection, you may not notice if you have something coming loose, um, a pin coming out and a implement that's not running right or you run over something or something important could happen and you might not know about it. So that's another factor to keep in mind. I appreciate you guys taking time to watch the video. In just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.